the narcissist will not accept that you don't want them. Narcissists have to believe that they are superior to everyone around them. They have an overly high opinion of themselves. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. This is to compensate for their inner feelings of inferiority, unattractiveness, inadequacy and insignificance. As an attempt to override their true inner feelings of themselves, they created a false self. The false self is an ideal version of the narcissist. It is a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism against their true inner feelings of themselves. Because of this, the narcissist can often come across as being very arrogant and audacious. They cannot accept that you do not want them or that you are not interested in them. A normal healthy person who experiences rejection might feel sad for a short period of time. They might go within and question their attractiveness, their qualities, abilities or talents. This is a normal healthy response to rejection. The narcissist doesn't do this. If you reject or display any form of disinterest to the narcissist, they will assume that there is something wrong with you. They will begin to question your attractiveness, your qualities, abilities or talents. Rejecting or displaying any form of disinterest to the narcissist can cause a narcissistic injury, which then leads to anger or rage. If they cannot get positive attention, admiration or praise from you, they will settle for negative attention. It still makes them feel as though they exist. It still makes them feel as though they are something significant or important to you, something powerful. When you reject or display any form of disinterest of the narcissist, they can often become very aggressive. They will do something to try and pull you out of your happiness and contentment. They need narcissistic supply. They need attention. They need to be noticed. They need to feel as though they are something significant or important in your life. If you don't willingly give them what they need, they will force it out of you. They will insult you, sabotage anything you have going on in your life, to force you to pay attention to them. To force themselves into being some, something significant or important to you. They believe that because you don't want them, it gives them the right to abuse you. In their minds, they feel angry because you did something to them. You hurt them by not giving them attention or validation by not validating their false self. When you reject the narcissist or display any form of disinterest to them, they will aggressively pursue you. They will chase you, hunt you down. They will stalk and harass you with unwanted and obsessive attention. They will subject you to hostility and ill treatment. They will try to annoy you persistently. Because in their minds, you hurt them. You attack them by not acknowledging or validating their false selves. 
Narcissists are very arrogant and audacious. They expect you to want them. If you don't, then in their minds there must be something wrong with you. Or you're just playing a game with, to hurt them. They also have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they have a right to your time, energy and attention. They are too self-absorbed to realise or accept that you do not want them. They are too preoccupied with their own feelings and interests to even consider how you feel about the situation or your interests. They lack empathy, which is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. When they are refusing to accept that you do, that you do not want them and still forcing their interests and agendas onto you, it's because they don't care about what you want or how you feel. All they care about is what they want in that moment and whatever they want, they feel entitled to. Many narcissists are not self-aware. They don't have conscious knowledge of their own character and feelings. So they cannot consider or understand what is inappropriate or what is undesired or not wanted. Some narcissists are aware of their character and feelings. They understand that you don't want them. They just don't care. All they care about is what they want and they believe that they are entitled to you. You can make it clear to them that you are not interested but they will continue to show that they are interested in you. They will continue to aggressively pursue you. If you show disinterest to an extent where the narcissist is triggered to self-reflect, that will cause a narcissistic injury. They will stalk and harass you with unwanted and obsessive attention. Because in their minds, you made them feel inferior, unattractive, inadequate and insignificant. They don't get it that you just don't want anything to do with them. They will try to force their distorted beliefs onto you and try to force you to do what they want. They have an obsessive need to make things go their way, regardless of what you want or how you feel about the situation. When you don't want them or you are not interested in them, they will go to great lengths to trouble or annoy you, to badger or hound you with frequent or persistent requests or interruptions. They will go to great lengths to get your attention and to try to get you to be interested in them. At first they will try to impress you. They will try to do things to make you admire or respect them. If that doesn't work, they will begin criticising you, insulting you, forming judgments about you, indicating your faults, mistakes, flaws or imperfections, making you feel as though you're worthless or beneath their consideration, when you never wanted anything to do with them in the first place. They have to force themselves onto you. They don't believe that anything will happen naturally. They act as though they are arrogant and entitled on the surface. But this is actually just to compensate for their true feelings of inferiority and not being deserving of anything. Deep down they already expect you to not want them, to not be interested in them. They already feel as though they are completely worthless and insignificant. 
but the false self that they have created is supposed to defend them against those feelings. It is supposed to be this attractive, admirable and respectable person. The false self cannot be self-validated because it isn't real. So it requires endless external emotional support. People need to validate their false selves by constantly noticing them and complimenting them. Making them feel as though their false self does exist and it is something attractive, admirable and respectable. You have to constantly prop up their false self for them to feel validated. If you cannot do this, they will begin to become consumed by their true inner feelings of worthlessness and insignificance. And they will assume that you have made them feel that way by not acknowledging or validating their false self. The arrogance and the entitlement they display on the surface is designed to, to defend them from how they really feel about themselves. It's as though they are trying to fight against how they really feel. And if you don't validate their false self, it's a battle they can never win. So they will stalk and harass you with unwanted and obsessive attention. And if that doesn't work, they will begin to project everything that they feel about themselves onto you. They cannot accept that you don't want them because then that would trigger them to reflect on how they really feel about themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Fiverr store, where you can purchase your own Narcs Fiverr t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.